Kyle, okay, what's your favorite part about making this film? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm getting signals from the universe that Catherine Newton is my oh. favorite part. After filming our, our lovely movie, have you found yourself noticing any tiny perfect things in your life? And um, what, what are they? Tell us. I found that when we were filming the movie, everyone was finding perfect moments all the time. Like just on the way to set, do you remember when we were passing like the children's playground and then there were like those two adorable kids that like hugged each other and we were like, perfect. And then like we would get a scene in one take. Like we had that scene in, where we have to kiss and like it's scripted that there's a hair in my mouth and there was literally a hair in my mouth. Like that was perfect. So I feel like I've just become aware of how perfect life is all the time. I mean, you know, I have three, perfect poodles and every morning with them is except perfect so you know it only goes uphill from there what about you do you have any like do you notice like perfect moments i know like talking to me is like perfect but like you don't have to say that oh my gosh yeah that's actually what i was gonna say i was like sometimes <laughs> i'm just hanging out right and then like catherine will like call me and be like hi and i'm just like oh, perfection <laughs> I know that you are now an expert at finding perfect moments and, you know, being in a time loop. So I yep. was just hoping that you could share with the world some of your tips for finding perfect moments. Actually, for finding perfect moments, um, wake up uh, and, and, and notice that you're stuck in a temporal anomaly. Yes. And then now you have that same day to, to find a, a million ways of appreciating. It's pretty simple. No, no, just, you know, look around you quietly and marvel at the beauty of everything. What about you, Catherine? There's really no tips. I think that they happen all the time and your perception of what perfect is, is really up to you. Why do you think Mark and Margaret need each other? Why are they the only two people stuck in this temporal anomaly? I think they really have something really important to teach each other. And I think that's why like, you know, the universe and the story pushes them together in this crazy circumstance to teach Margaret something that we can't necessarily reveal and then to teach uh, Mark something, which I'm comfortable saying that he, he thinks everything's kind of revolving around him and it's just not the truth. No, it's always about Margaret. Everything revolves it's around- Literally everything is about Catherine's poodles. <laughs> You're not wrong. My poodles love what? Kyle so much. Buddy is obsessed with Kyle. The other day, That's Kyle came over to my house and like Buddy charged out the door. I was so upset. I've never been Buddy, so like upset in my Buddy life. My me. dog likes somebody more than me. Buddy Here. calls me and he's like, get me out of here. And I'm like, <laughs> I got you. And then we go on adventures in the middle I of the night. Oh. Kyle's a boy and two of my poodles are boys. Do do? Want to hang out with another guy. And Kyle's kind of like a dog, you know what I mean? Like we go snowboarding. We play, with them. we play fetch. We start an investment account together. They love you. They love you so much. We're starting a business actually. They dance together. We dance. We dance. We're doing um we're doing a performance in, in March. Oh, I can't wait. Can yeah. I it's a drive, it's like a drive-in ballet. Drive-in ballet with poodles? Yeah. I'd see that. Mm. Was there dancing on set, Kyle? Did we Yeah, dance? I would say that there was dancing on set, Catherine. I would say, I would say that the dance was had. Um, I, I think uh, ballroom, uh, the foxtrot, the jitterbug was was definitely uh, uh, a grand pas de deux. Uh, a, um, a classical ballet pas de deux was rehearsed and performed. We really did do a lot of dancing. Kyle uh, is really good at flipping me around like a like a like a toy, like a stick or something. I really enjoyed that personally. I really enjoyed being carried from my trailer to set. I thought that was really nice. You know, usually you have to walk. And on this project, I didn't even have to do that. I just- She's to very, walk. something Something people don't know about Catherine Newton. She's very aerodynamic. Mm. It's very easy to maneuver. <laughs> what do you believe is in particularly special about Mark and Margaret's love story? Where do I begin? I think what's special about Mark and Margaret's love story is that this girl is not a damsel in distress. She doesn't need saving, but she does get kind of stopped by this guy. And I love that you see a girl who uh, is on her own track and really focused on herself. 
And you don't see that a lot. You know, you see like girls like just fall for guys, but that's really not what the story is about. It's about two people growing and falling in love and like growing because they have to grow so that they can fall in love. I agree entirely. It's very unique. I think it's very conscious. Most times relationships in films, they don't really tell it how it is. They kind of tell it how you'd like it to be. And I think while our movie is very surreal, I think the way that their relationship actually develops is really honest and, and natural, even in those ridiculous circumstances. Catherine, how would you describe the overall message in the film and, and why do you think it's really important? Well, Kyle, I would describe the overall message of the film as you have to live right now for your future and you can't hang on to your past, whether it was good or bad. And I think it's really hard to do that when you're young, you know, we're stuck in like a teenage wasteland and we're always bored all the time waiting for something to happen. And the thing is, is it never changes. Like I'm still the same person I was in eighth grade that I am right now. The only difference is that I'm trying to create right now for myself in 10 years. So I think that's what this movie is about is you have to let go so you can keep growing. You got to keep growing. Spot on. I think it's really important to, to tell stories about kids that they're growing up. They're growing up now and they're looking at the world and they're like, do I want to do this or do I want to stay where I am? What interests me about the future? Why would I want to participate? And who would I want to part in the future with? I think those are really important themes to kind of explore. And I think we do that. I think we do that. I think we do that. What's your favorite moment with me on set? Hang on. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot to go through. I have, a, I have a booklet here that I've been, I've been keeping track. <laughs> Okay. No. Um, tell me, tell me. Well, I, I came in on set and I don't think you knew that I was there. I just got to watch you kill it. And that was really cool. It just like got to be on fly on the wall on Catherine's day. That was pretty special. Not gonna lie. That's so sweet. There was this thing that Kyle did where he had to ride a skateboard and fly and fall onto like a mat. And the director asked him to do it and he did it kind of naturally. And then the director asked him to go wild and he shot off like a cannon. And I think that's the one that ended up in the movie. But just the fact that he it is it is. willing to risk everything to give something to a scene is very inspiring. You're never going to get that out of me. Okay, I'm not going to do that. But Kyle will. If you want him to almost die, call him. It's what I'm built for. <laughs> Catherine Newton, you're a busy person. How how are you? Uh, you got a lot going on. What's what what are you what are you excited about? I mean, there's so much to tell. What are you looking forward to? And uh, what kind of stuff would you like to create for yourself? <laughs> I would love to create another project with you where we got to do like some kind of action movie, maybe like really show off the physicality that we can bring to a film. Um, yeah, you know, I'm working on my own stuff right now that I can't really talk about, but you know, I got my dream job. I do, I do, I know that. <laughs> Painful to not have you screaming at the top of your lungs. It's like. <laughs> Can you please tell me a little bit about your dream job that you have coming out soon? Uh, yeah, so uh, I was in a little, it's a project called, oh. um, the thing. West Side Story. Oh, is that backwards? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that that was that was that was that was a job of a lifetime. I spent my entire um, childhood watching that VHS on repeat, and then I got to be in the film of it. Come on, come on, tell me. Watching the film, got to I get to, what? Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Maps. What? Maps is the dream come true. The movie with me is the one that changed your life. Not yeah, to, I know West Side Story, huge deal. Can't wait to see it. Going to be amazing. But like, come on. <laughs> I, I I don't disagree with you. It did. I just I just I thought we were. I thought both were phenomenal. I can't decide. I just I'm I'm in love with both. They changed my life. Cheers. Thank you to everyone involved. <laughs>